Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yes, just want to say a big hello to all the outboard enthusiasts. That's right. Okay, so in my last video, I uh, for the most part wrapped up my little four stroke 1990 I'm not sure Yamaha 9.9 with electric start only seems to run good I got a shifter a throttle a prop that's not chewed up still got a few little cosmetic -y things I want to do to it but as I stated in that video I've got uh, bear guides, bar, big old brown bar, got teeth in this. They come over here, they're guides, and they come over here and take hunters from all over the world to get their Kodiak bear. So, um, I just had one of the guides from the mainland over there on mainland Alaska. It's over there. 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 He called me and said, I'm going to be in town, I think he said next week, and I need to make sure that my outboards are ready to go for my clients and for my guiding and for my bar hunting. I said, okay, I'll try and get them up. So, um, one is a Yamaha 15 two-stroker, and we may have to go on a boat ride on that one because it seems to run fine in my tank, but he says once he gets out there and put, puts it on the boat and gets it under load, it bogs down and so forth. You understand. So we're going to have to do that, but uh, that was the last time I run it, which would be last fall bear season. There's two bear seasons. There's spring. And then there's fall. So we're coming up on spring bear season. And uh, last fall when I ran this motor, it ran fine. And then uh, he come back from his hunts and he says, nope. When I put it under load and give it to Goose, it bogs and won't go fast. So we'll have to see what's going on there. The other one is the one I got behind me. And it's a little cutie. I worked on it years ago, but it's been a few years other than I think the recoil start I fixed but what he says going on with that which we're going to check out here in just a few he says when he starts it and it runs there's water coming out inside the lower cowling inside the engine compartment so we'll have to check that out and find out what's going on there you understand that's what we're going to do so um here's the little kickers the little cuties that's my four stroke Yummy snaps right there on the right, and that's the one in question there on the left. Um, 15 two stroker Yami that supposedly bogs down. And then the one that's got the water coming into the cowling pan is this little cute right here. So I'm going to get this one in my tank, hook up some gas, we're going to see if we can fire it up and see if we can spot this leak. So let me get set up, I'll be right back. Well, one more thing. Before we go any further, we gotta do a mail call. That's right, we gotta do a mail call. Um, this was sent to me, and so let's get to open it and see them what we got. Alright, T. What do we got? What do we got? Well, there's a little letter in there and something else. Let's look at the letter. Okay.
Okay. This is from a sub. He said that uh, he's got a couple of 9.9 .9 outboards and some of the stuff we've done here on the channel might help him along to get one of those going. And he said, I enjoy the bits and keep up the good work. And that's from a Mr. G. Swifty. So, that's what he said. And I'm glad I could help in any kind of way. And let's see what he said. This is ignition point file. Now, he must have watched my videos and saw me trying to file them points with a piece of sandy paper. I'm guilty. That's what I do. That's what I used to do. That ain't what I'm going to do no more because I got that. And I honestly can say I do not own one of these. So I am looking forward to giving this a shot. It's made by Evercraft and uh, I do not own an ignition point file. Um, I did come across reference to them before in a manual and I had never really seen one. But there it is. And Swifty, thank you so much and thank you for watching. Okay, so look at this pull rope. It's got about two strands left. Carburetor won't run, run. I mean, the engine won't run unless the old Cob of Nature is about half choked or so. Sounded like it was running on one cylinder, but as far as the leak goes, we found that. Can you see it right there? Let's get you tilted a little bit. Uh, there, you should see it right there. See? See the hole? They've dropped the engine back this way. And this is rubber mounted and rubber mounted. So the two clacked, collided right there and it knocked a big hole in the T-stat cover. So sure did. So I got to get that off there. Let me get my tools. I'll be back. Okay. So I got the old one off. And uh, I'm looking for my pick. Where you at? Oh, there it is. So I got the old one off. And there's the damage. You can see that not good. And boy, there was a lot of goop on there. Look at all that goop somebody put on there. But. That gasket, I that ain't gonna be. I'm gonna have to get a new gasket. I could use that in a pinch, but I, but there it is. So they whammoed it, and then what it did, what it did, what it did, did, did. I took this here. You scrape a scraper and you scrape, 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 scrape. And then I take a little of the old emery cloth. And we sand, sand, and sand. You get the idea. Sand everything clean. So we had to do that. So from there, we have to do this. So I went out the pile. And We got us another one, just like a, the other one. Don't know if. Oh, look at her. And gaskets tore on this one too. There it is. 
Hello. How you doing? What can I do you for? I got this side all cleaned up. I got the thermostat here. I, I'm going to clean it up. But there's my thermostat. It's really not that bad. Um, just a little on my fine wire wheel. I got my aviation permatex and a brand new gasket. So I did the same thing. I cleaned this all up, sanded it. We'll put a coat of the Permatex on it, let it stick and get sticky. I'll also put some on the actual uh, cylinder head and get it and let it tack up and then I'll bolt it back on. After I clean up the thermostat, I'll be back. Okay, I got my spark spider hooked up. And so let's go ahead and do a spark check on this thing while I'm waiting for my Permatex to get a little sticky because it sounded like it was only hitting on one. I've got my half inch Milwaukee drill here. Watch these two right in here. I'm only seeing one. And that's what the engine sounded like. So, which one? The top? Yeah, it's the top one that's not spucky spucky. So first thing I want to do is check my connections. Let's see. Wait a minute now. Okay. It looks all right. And a spark plug wire. Looks okay. Let's try it one time. Let's see. We got a little bit of tape on the connection here, which is fine. Let me see if I see anything out of the ordinary at the plug. Let me see. All looks good in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all clean. So, put that back on. I'm not seeing anything chafe through right off the, the bat. So, let's try it again after all that moving around. Again, right in there. One spocky. So, let me check my ground on it. My ground. So, I'm going to have to do that. So, I need a three eighths. Let me. I'm just going to take off the coil real quick and check the grounds. Check the ground. There's my deal there. take a little bit of sandpaper where this ground was and clean that up. And reconnect it and see what we get. So, 
Everything looks good there so far. Let's clean up the ground itself on that. On the coil itself, that ground does look pretty, pretty yuckety. So I'm just cleaning this tab, this ground tab up. I was looking to this coil. There's a little bit of a ding right there. Little ding. I'm gonna put a piece of tape there just in case. And if that's a problem, I might even replace the coil. But anyway, for right now. Where's that Dean at? Right there. Just in case. Yeah. Now, there's my ground. I think so. Mm -hmm. Watch right in here, see if it does anything different. So, the manual says, loss of spark on a single cylinder suspect coil. Loss of spark on all cylinders suspect pack. So, I'm going to try a different coil. You here for a mariner, I guess. Yes, I am. Well, we got one for you. There you go. I think you'll make it through there. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, really you bet. Oh, man, I just We love this go engine. It goes on our 16 foot bearing. Now, I find those if you pull the engine once you get out here, it'll work better for you. You know, if you try and push it, them little wheels. Right. Oh, Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bigger wheels. Yeah, yeah let the bigger wheels there do the go. work. Man, yeah. this thing's cool. What's that? Oh, that this little. Car, this car. Really cool. It's got a 650 in it. Okay. Okay, so like I said, the manual, when you get this situation, I've looked at the wires, everything looked good in the wires and the tips. I didn't find anything that looked cut or grounding. Um, so here's that piece of tape I put on. I thought maybe that was grounding out there where it's kind of boogered up. But uh, that wasn't the case. So. I even took off the spark plug off the, the the spark plug wire off and it looked good. 
inside and everything. So that led me to say well, it's probably the coil. So I replaced the coil. Put on out of my boom pile. See what we get. There we are. Okay. They go around right there. Watch those two top ones. Let's see what we get. We got hot spocky top and bottom one and two. Do what the manual say. Makes your life a little bit easier. I'll be back. Well now we all know what it means when I wear this hat. It means somebody came bearing the gifts. Yep, it's Christmas in April. At least I think it's April. Close enough. Oh, and did I mention it's a little cutie. She's a little cutie. Somebody came and gave me the cutie. So, shall we go and look at it? Let's go. Well, there it is. A 15 Suzuki four stroke. The guy said he's moving. It's even got the hydrofoil fin on it. He said he's moving. You can see it's got a little scale there, right up in this area. But the throttle's nice and free. Everything's nice and free. Um, so, and as you can see, sorry about the wind. It's been windy for days. But you can see, you've also got the uh, paint just came off on that lower leg there. So, I'm not sure sure of the year exactly but she's a cutie okay so we got the uh, t-stat cover back on and uh, Had to get that out of there before I lose it. Okay, we got everything hooked back up. T stat covers on. Let's see. I feel like that thing's plumping. Let me make sure. Cool tail. Get some fuel in this thing. There we go. Alright. Let's choke it as best I can without that cover. Alright.
Wow. Well now, um, when I first started this motor and it had the hole in the T-stat cover and everything, spitting water everywhere, filling up the cabin pan, um, it wouldn't run unless the choke was halfway out. But whatever was in there must have cleared itself out after I got to pumping some gas through it because it seems to run fine now and idle fine. And so forth and so on, you understand. Um, and it's diet. Uh, so we got this little guy squared away. I just need to screw the air silencer back on there real quick. Get that taken care of and put the little adjustment knob back in. And we'll start on the next one. For sure. So we got to get this one out. Get that one in. Body dee body dee body. That's gonna be a wrap on this one. That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thank you for watching. Hey man, hit the like button, would ya?